phone is taped to the tripod. Whoops, we're in Ireland. I want to talk about these boots. Boots, 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 uh, shout out Danny, dishwasher there, love ya. He gave us the recommendation, food was spectacular, environment, people, so nice. Great little introduction in the food. Now we're at Trinity College, we just pretty much walked like northeast from there. Did some, a little bit of shopping, didn't get anything, but this is gorgeous. Squashing a bug. It's a warrior's cup. Short five minute walk to the National Gallery. Store lighting. We just left the museum, aftermath exhibit, print gallery, national portrait gallery, all spectacular. Definitely recommend it and it's free. Always donate, but it's free, it was awesome. And now we are going to Cornucopia, which is a vegan restaurant, directly vegetarian restaurant. Hearty, traditional, vegetarian restaurant, seasonal menu, it's always changing and it's right downtown, we never expected it. Is this getting dark or what? So if you're stuck downtown, there might be somewhere to check out, but we'll let you know how it is soon. Trouble, 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 trouble. Gorgeous, gorgeous slop. Broccoli, sesame seeds, cucumber, eggplant, sweet potatoes, brown rice, fruit, latte. Some really cozy, home-style food that you wouldn't expect right in the middle of pedestrian shopping town. There's a sneaker shop. Really good. Worth stopping by. We're back. We're finally hitting the wall after a solid half day in Dublin. If anything, we'd want to go out to the city center to a nice pub or see what nightlife here is because it's Saturday night. We're finally hitting that wall and we want to get some good sleep. But for the most part, we made it really well through the day. We did good with our, our five-hour plane sleep last night. Really good. We didn't get to see everything we wanted to, but for only being here since the afternoon, 12, 1 or so, it was a really good day. And we're heading out west tomorrow, excited to pick up our rental car and drive on the other side of the road. We were dropped off in the middle of the city where we're renting our car after a lot of difficulties, which I'll tell you about. <laughs> and I'm really liking it. It's super fun. We're in this same place, English speaking, similar world around us, but this is so crazy and juddingly different, but fairly intuitive. So you guys should definitely Head to Europe, where they drive on the left side of the road, preferably, and drive on the left side of the road, not somewhere else. Really fun. All the way out west. So those are the festivities, the excursions for tomorrow. And then we'll be back here one day before we head to London. But yeah, really successful. Food, museums, just walking around the city, all the side streets, through campus. Really great. I need to get a camera charger so we can use my real camera. Yeah, and we don't have an adapter <laughs> because we're so stupid. Forgot my camera, charger, the battery, and an adapter for any outlet. But you know what? Now we'll just have multiple converters and multiple batteries to bank on in the future. All right, it's official. We're taking back band t-shirts, Metallica t-shirts, Sonic Youth t-shirts from Jerry and others like him. We're taking them back. It's actually incredible. I didn't want to wear a concert t-shirt on camera 
because of Jerry. That is stupid. We're learning, we're growing, and we're gonna spice up this video a little bit. So I'm back in Indiana after the trip because I couldn't miss any more school. But here we are, and I wanted to add another layer to the video, just talking about my outfits, what I was wearing in Ireland, and eventually England later on, we'll see. Just to give you guys something else to take in, to differentiate it a little bit from Kaylee's videos where we're using a lot of the same clips, a few of the same clips. Not to reduce it just to outfits, but we just aren't super big vloggers, or I'm not a super big vlogger, but I do wanna show you guys Ireland and all the awesome things that it and other places have to give you, set the mood, give you, some, give you a little bit of a window to look into, but nothing more than that. I don't know, it's pretty fun, and it's an incredible place that you should visit if you have the opportunity, if you're lucky enough to go insane. But, Let's see, we are, I'm just editing this video now, right now. We are in Dublin for the day, and this outfit was pretty much my plane outfit, my airplane outfit. What I wore, went to our Airbnb, and filmed a video, then got out there and explored the town before it was sundown. So those are those steel toe, punk, really cool leather wrapped boots, in love with, <laughs> boots, 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 <laughs> good gag there. And Levi's 505, these jeans, along with another pair of mine, you guys ask about like crazy, so I need to make a video in regards to them, the different fits, 501, 505, different washes, that sort of thing. But I love these. And then the top is a thermal, which you guys can see on this Instagram photo. I'm just gonna share some Instagram photos and other pictures we, we've taken. I'm still waiting to go drop off and get back some developed film, the 35 millimeter we shot. But once we have that, it'll be on social media, on my blog, the full gallery, whatever. But this shirt is a thermal and I've been loving these waffle knit thermal shirts lately. They take me back to when I was younger, but they also have this bit of like Mad Max, atrocious, but still mature shirt. Especially if you have the right accessories, maybe another necklace, the right jewelry, a good top coat, something like that. But in this case, I just threw on my Stotts hoodie, which is of course that horror, sh horror show hoodie that Kaylee and I made. Fucking beautiful, I love seeing your guys' pictures. Beautiful being you guys sending us pictures, it's awesome. But yeah, weather there was incredible. It was 45 to upper 50s in Ireland and England, so much different than what we're used to back home. So we were just cozy, going to see some museums, going to walk around Dublin, and it was a great experience. And I guess now it's on to Galway. Big porridge kick every morning. This is roadside on the way to the sightseeing. And we're just stopping off, just like a big highway straight from Dublin to Galway. But here, oh my fucking goodness, the narrow roads, the greenery, the stone walls, Kaylee shivering, let's get back in the car. <laughs> but we took some good pics and this is just like breathtaking just to stop and take in. It's so quiet out here and there's no cars too. Wow. She just changed. Now we're about to hit our second site, second excursion. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we didn't look at the pictures all too much yet. They looked really pretty from just scrolling through. There's this awesome golden light. I don't know. I guess we didn't get to do exactly what we envisioned, but it was still super fun and turned out awesome. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> like one of the things I really wanted to do was use some sort of slow sync flash with the sunset west of the cliffs. That way you can use the flash, illuminate a subject, and still have a slow enough shutter speed to let more light in and get this beautiful sunset. So maybe we can at the next place at the National Park, but not the National Park, one of them. But it might be cloudy. We'll see. I'm really excited for the location. Oh, it's 
Clean, all right. I cannot believe this is happening to us. <laughs> so this was the absolute most fun part of the trip, getting to drive around rural Ireland on the other side of the road, across the country, go to the cliffs, go to Burren National Park, and just sort of like get away for, from work for a little bit and school work for a little bit. So this outfit right here, the big thing, actually there's two big items, but in this photo in particular, it is those Martine Rose jeans. This is a designer that I've wanted to support for a long time, and it's a bit of a niche product that I wasn't sure would go on sale, but I had it in ShopTagger, the service that I've told you about that monitors sales, and now they're over 50% off at multiple stores online. So I'll link those down below alongside all of the other outfit info, of course. But these jeans, crazy. Every single boutique ever, all they ever stock Martine Rose is t-shirts, for, I want to say they're like 180 pounds, like $300 t-shirts and $500 hoodies, which aren't that bad. They're definitely not worth the price, but they're just logoed hoodies and t-shirts. I don't know who's buying that when she makes such cool stuff. It's a London-based designer, love her. These jeans, I should give them their own video or something, but they're the perfect balance between American sportswear, they pretty much have this jock strap going on. So jock strap being American sportswear or maybe Wild West going into that sort of sexual bondage look. Um, but also they're just plain jeans with this beautiful wash. They feel great, they fit great. There you go, talk too much about them. The t-shirt is an Anvil, excuse me, I wanna say 351 Anvil. It's an ultra lightweight t-shirt that I altered to sit right at the middle of your crotch. Um, pretty much just brought it up. So it's a little bit boxier, a little bit shorter, almost looks like it's tucked in, but lazy, grimy. Love ultra lightweight, so you can see your jewelry underneath your collar, you can see your tattoos coming through it, whatever. If it was long sleeve, also accessories here. There's a Demoule Meester bracket and bracelet and our Staatsballet, I think I mix those two up, ring, our family ring that we recasted that I still haven't really shared with you guys, but I love that guy. Really cool process too. Same boots here. I only brought those and my Demoulemeister derbies and that was it. So I really didn't pack much and I love all of these outfits for not bringing much at all. And also my clothes that I bought not being delivered to Kaylee's apartment. But the other big ticket item, big ticket, not meaning money, but just something that I'm so excited about. And that's that Walter Van jacket, that astronomical, jacket, short aviator, cool air padded material, metallic lined, what do I even say? It's insane, it's short, it's beautiful, it's a normal jacket that you can just wear, but it's also so eccentric and you can create this character out of it, which is what we tried to photograph photograph, so I hope those turn out. Has that really cool pouch on the back. This was autumn of 98, if you wanna look that up and try to find it somewhere. Those are the two outfits from us being out in Ireland thus far. I don't know if I'm gonna continue with the next day as well as London in a vlog style. What I really wanna share from those sort of days is the fabric trade show, the sustainable textile event that we went to that was beautiful and sharing all of these different things that we learned and these cool things that people are coming up with that I've never even heard of that I could possibly put together in a video. That's what I'm really interested in sharing. Also, we just didn't really buy that many clothes. Like we went thrift shopping in Ireland. We thought that would be a little bit different than what it was. Um, same with London. It just ended up being like a lot of trendy sort of a vintage top and then the thrift store crops it or a reprinted t-shirt or something like that where we probably would be more interested in traditional clothing. Back to the outro. I hope you guys like this video. Super fun sitting down, hanging out, and bringing you along on this trip the most I could. And I guess that's it. Yeah, everyone do me one last favor. And of course, have a good day for me. Have a good week, month, year. Whatever you want to do, that'd be great. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Peace out, guys. Maybe they're just happy. Excuse me.